Hey everyone, Bob here, KD4 BMG, just what the world needs, another HOA ham. Two of us, that's right. There I am in the ground in less than five seconds with my BD7 Maple Ground Spike, a favorite piece of gear for me. Right on top of it goes my Gable 7350T antenna. It's a small, tiny, portable, lightweight HF antenna. I telescope that whip, and in less than 30 seconds, my antenna is set up and ready to operate. So why are we talking about this ground spike again? Well, I did recommend to BD7 Maple that instead of offering this in the UHF connector, the SO239, that he make this in 3 8 by 24. And I think you realize that the spike comes off so that you have two individual units and you can put this on other gear. So they did make this in a 3 8 by 24. And here are two samples that arrived many months ago. I did a quick video on it. I kind of transferred my my love for this item over to my respect for this. I didn't go through all the necessary testing that I should have. And I made a comment in that video, you know, if this epoxy holds and if the design works, then this is a great piece of gear. And within a couple of days, I did some more abusive testing and I snapped these in half. I quickly pulled down the video where I did the review of it and said, time out, don't buy this. I went back to BD7 Maple and said, it's time for a redesign. Let's look at the redesign. I went out to a local state park to put this thing to the test and I thought, why not simulate wind blowing against this thing and put some stress on that connector where the 3 8 by 24 attaches to the ground spike. And while this ground spike is intended for short-term use, backyard portable, pot of soda, etc., it is not a permanent installation. I know I'm not going to be operating in tropical storm conditions nor hurricane conditions. I'm going to operate for a few hours and pull this out of the ground. I thought it would simulate heavy wind. It didn't do a thing to the ground spike. In my opinion, it didn't stress this connection point enough. And so I had to simulate more severe conditions by getting some hand tools out of the truck. Of course, I have a toolbox with me at all times and I go grab two pair of channel lock pliers. Yeah, my knee's an anvil, that should work. I give this thing a workover as good as I can being 60 years old, maybe not as strong as I was in my younger days, but I can still open a pickle jar. I can still throw around a 50 pound bag of concrete, which you'll see soon. Or is it cement? I don't know, we'll figure that out later. I've done my best, rip this apart and I can't. And here are the marks on the unit. So does the new ground spike from BD7 Maple with the 3 8 by 24 version get the HOA ham stamp of approval? Well, we're not done testing yet. There's definitely more abuse coming. I did snap it in half, but let me tell you why I'm okay with that. Let's look at the old version first. So here's the top, the radiating portion of the old version, and here's the bottom, the ground portion of the prior version. These were held together by threaded studs, but those studs were polymer. So threaded studs in four holes on both the top and bottom half, and some epoxy, and then a reddish or orangish rubber gas it in between to provide the separation between the radiation portion and the ground. It's just that even though it worked, it would radiate, these polymer threaded studs were not strong enough. They snapped. So wait till you see the abuse that I put the new version through and let me give you uh, what the construction is now. And from my perspective, BD7 Maple has gone and totally redeemed himself. So we still have a polymer portion of the stud, but it's a polymer sleeve that goes over top of a metal stud. So now we have a threaded metal stud that is going into the top radiating portion. It goes into the bottom grounding portion and it's surrounded by a plastic sleeve that provides the separation so we don't ground our signal. Now, wait till you see what I had to do to snap it to get to this point. I have absolutely no problem recommending the BD7 Maple 3 8 by 24 ground spike. And now let me show you why. I don't know what made me think I would be stronger today than it was a few months ago and that I could snap this with a pair of pliers. Let's stop playing games. Let's get out the big guns. I've been working in construction with my dad since I was six years old. I know how to swing a hammer. This is a construction framing hammer. It's got weight to it and I know how to swing it. Let's see if we can snap this thing. All right, we're starting to see just a tiny bit of separation. 
let's get out the next best tool. And yeah, I, I know, I know, it's a wood chisel. I know I'm not dealing with wood here. I always keep a wood chisel in my toolbox for things unrelated to wood when I need to wedge something apart. All right, we've wedged it apart a little further, and now let's get out the next correct tool for this. That's right, a flathead screwdriver. Let's wedge this thing in between that crack and fully tear this apart. Nice. 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 The abuse given in the garage was several weeks after I was out at the park. I wasn't satisfied leaving the park and making a recommendation. I wanted to go to the extreme. And you probably noticed there were a couple of cuts during that extreme abuse in the garage. That's because I subjected this probably 3x on the pliers test and uh, close to 3x with the hammer the chisel and the screwdriver. So I abused it far beyond what I showed you. I didn't want to take you through all of that time on the air. So here is my 3 8 by 24 with my SO239. It comes in this option as well as it will come in a BNC option if that's how you roll. Of course, yours will probably come in better condition than this one. So yep, I think BD7 Maple addressed this problem. They did it quite well. I'm satisfied with it and I appreciate their effort to make this right. I'll leave a link in the description below to this on eBay. For whatever reason, eBay links don't seem to last very long. If the link is expired, it will likely take you to the BD7 Maple store and you can still find this there. Hope you found this useful, friend. Talk to you soon. 73.